What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're continuing off where we left with the chat here um, from everything that I understand and I think this is where we are is we had changed out a decent amount of parts for the suspension because it was leaning really bad so I think we put in some new control arms we changed out a shock absorber and whatnot and we got it to be so much straight um, I think that's as far as I want to go with repairing any mechanically uh, defective part on the vehicle. I think that the rest of this is going to need to be just painting and grinding. As you can see, we have a ton of work to do with that. This whole side is pretty much rusted out, and it's off tone quite a bit. Uh, this rear bumper is bent. Maybe, I think it's just a bumper. It might be the actual uh, rear panel there, but I cannot tell. I think we'll just leave that. The way it is and see what the value is if we'll get anything we'll replace it as we go from there but yeah you can definitely tell that something's something's bent back here and not right uh we can check it with the hammer quick i'm not entirely sure where i left it though uh where's the hammer hello there he is yeah let's go ahead and oh that scared me That is very, very loud. Um, let's go ahead and fix that. Where are the configure controls? Is it? No, that's not it. Um, how do I change the audio? Because, dear lord, that was so loud. Uh, use steering wheel. That's not it. Okay. Um, one second. I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and ice out to the menu and fix the audio. That was, that scared me. That gave me a heart attack. All right, we're back. Uh, hopefully that changed or fixed the issue. Okay, yeah, that's not nearly as loud anymore. Whoever drove this car last definitely did a number on it. I'm not sure what they broke. Ooh. Here it is. Or what they hit or what happened. They must have rear-ended a pole or something. I think it's definitely what it seems like. Um, okay, there's still a little bit, but I can't find the spot that needs to be hit with the hammer. Is it below? Ah, there it is. Like, the inside's been too? That is what it seems like, huh? Interesting. Uh, here it is. It's this side. Gotcha. All right, so that's all somewhat straight again. Yeah. Whatever happened to this car? They must have backed into like a telephone pole or something, and completely bent up the back there. But for the most part, it's not terrible. Uh, we should be able to straighten that out with the grinder, get it painted, and it'll look. A decent amount better. I mean, just pounding that out gave us like a thousand dollar uh, pay increase on the car. So, without further ado, let's just get into grinding. Sweet. Um, I've been toying around with the idea. So, looking at um how the videos I've been doing on the YouTube channel, my garage does way better than any other game that I play. Um. So I've been leaving it up to the decision. I've been toying around with the idea of maybe going back and doing some videos on the Hunter, which I recently started playing again with uh, ASQ Rob, and making VODs of that. Or we could start a survival series of My Garage here. We could try that out. Uh, let me know what you guys think and what you guys would like to see. I'm personally okay with either of them. We could even do both, but... uh. I'm not entirely sure, so I work full-time, so my schedule is always just absolutely cluttered. So I know I can definitely do another series. I can include that into uh, what I'm doing now, and still be able to stream every now and then. I could maybe do two, it's just, it might be difficult. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see. I am enjoying my garage again. I'm still on the hunt for that part, which uh, my good friend Rob was courteous enough to inform me that I, we did see one it, 
on the first uh, episode that we created, and we just looked right past it. I guess it looks very much like the Chad. Uh, the only difference is, essentially, that the name is, like, the brand is different, right? So it looks pretty much like the Chad, but it is not. So we'll just have to uh, pay a little bit closer attention whenever we get to that. Yeah, this whole, uh, this whole panel right here is pretty rusted. I'm surprised that it hasn't rusted through yet. I mean, I guess it's probably just surface rust, because if we were grinding, we'd see the hole in it. At least that's the way it would be in uh, real life. I never really thought that uh, grinding rust away and then repainting it would work on a vehicle. Because typically, at least where I'm from, when something rusts out, it rusts very quickly and very deep. So if you were to take a grinder to it, you just remove a ton of material from the car to the point where you would have to like weld a patch plate or maybe uh, use Bondo on it to fill it back up. But I guess in this game it works. It makes it simpler. And, alright, so that section's good. That's something we should try. Hold on really quickly here. The Bondo. Oh, that's sweet. We can just straighten it out with uh, some Bondo here. That's good to know, actually. What's scary is that the whole rear bumper here is basically Bondo. <laughs> alright, good to go. Anything else up there? Nope. What about over here? Ah, this part. This must be... Well, no, because they hit... They hit the, uh... They hit the telephone pole or whatever it was that they hit right there. Because that's where the bumper is bent. Alright, so that's good. Well, this whole panel is just... Absolutely rusted. Uh, so... We should probably grind all the rust off before we go at it with the, uh... We have a... We have a... We have a hole in our roof, and a couple of them, because that's a lot of snow that's coming through. Alright, well, we'll have to go ahead and hire a uh, roofing company to go ahead and fix that up. Alright, let's go ahead and just continue grinding away. Because if you uh, bondo and then grind, you take your rust away. So we'll get the rust taken care of, and then we'll go ahead and fill in the rest of the body with the bondo. The one time that I wish it would auto-complete the rust removal is when they're this bad. I mean, when it's just like little spots, it doesn't really bother me that much. And when it happens, you're just like, oh, cool. But when it's the whole driver, uh, passenger side rear body panel that's rusted, it's like, nah, you gotta go through and do every inch of the car. Every inch. Alright, so this little spot right here. Get that all prettied up. Almost done. Come on. And... Good to go. Uh, oh, we missed a bit. Right here. Okay, we're not going to be able to get that line for some reason. Oh, sweet. Alright, cool. Uh, so we're done with that. Awesome. Um, get rid of you. Grab our bondo again. How much do we have left? Not a whole lot, actually. Uh, we might have to go and buy some more. Uh... Oh, wow, it's, uh... Maybe they rolled it. That could be what happened. Uh, get rid of you. Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and buy, I think, like, three more. And then let's check the value of what it's going up to. Uh, one and two. We'll buy the two for now because I can carry two. I don't want to leave a third one over there and then I'll forget about it. And it'll sit on that shelf forever. Because every time I go over there, I won't need to get Bondo. I'll need to get something else and I won't be able to carry it. Alright, so we were working here, right? Yeah. This side. Okay. Get you all filled in. Um, alright, that's it there. The trunk, too? Wow, whatever they hit, they must hit hard. Because, that's impressive. This one, too? Where? 
I don't see a dent. Oh, it's down here on the bottom. Fair enough. The roof? No. No way. Okay, it's probably on this side. Um... Where? Oh, over here. Gotcha. Right there. Come on. Oh, oh no. Please? Okay, I can't figure out what spot needs to be bundled. Like, I'm not dumb, am I? Is it over here, maybe? Aha! It is. Alright, there we go. Now, we're all good, straight, and happy, and we found more rest. Okay, uh, grinder, please. Actually, first of all, let's grab the wrench. Let's take off both of the bumpers. 15,000 already, and it's not even painted. Uh, where are the bolts for the bumper? Uh, one. And one over here, right? Two. That should just come right off now. Perfect. Drop you, and then it should be the same thing for the back side, correct? Um... I think that's for the gas tank. Maybe it'll be easier if we pop the trunk. Be able to see it better. Uh, ch -ch -ch. uh there's one. Okay, and then there is the other one. Perfect. Then now uh, this should come right off. It'll make it easier to paint too then. Be able to get it all. Alright, so bumpers off. Probably drop valley because of that. Eh, not really. Not as much as I figured it would. Alright, get you all ground up. I suppose we should probably check the inside of the door, the uh, running boards of the car, and make sure that those aren't actually rusted as well. Just because sometimes the rust can be sneaky like that. And... Yeah, no, this whole... This whole uh, front bumper, too, or this front fender, was pretty, uh, pretty rusted. It's good to know, though, because you... It's good to know that there's rust, because that means that it's, uh, metal. Which means, in an accident, it's less likely to encounter, uh, damage. You know, the cosmetic damage that'll happen will be, like, a dent. Or, you know, something like that. It won't break. Whereas with a plastic or fiberglass body, like a lot of new cars have, you can do a little fender bender where you accidentally back into something, or somebody backs into you. It'll crack plastics, you'll have to buy new plastics. You can't just buy parts. Whereas with metal, if you get like a hole or something, you can throw a patch on it from the inside and it'll look relatively similar. Alright. Good to go. It lost value because I took out a little bit of paint. Uh, rust. It's still rust on it, huh? Where? There's no rust here. It's not inside on the door. Nope, this side's good. Uh, probably this one. Yeah, there's a little bit. Okay, yeah, we can get that quick. Uh, Grander, thank you. Hopefully we'll be able to get that. Nope. Stay open. Nope. Stop it. Did I get it? No, stay open. There we go. We just had to force our body into the way. Rust is still only four stars. Why? What am I missing? It's not the bottom, right? No, that's good. Um, unless it's just the overall rust on the car. Which, I mean, I guess that could be it, too. So, we're all bondoed up. Got it somewhat straight. Paint is all clean from rust. So, all we need to do now is just paint it. Uh, so, 635 BE5. My hope is that after we finish this car... Uh, one second. 6E... 6 635 BE5? Yeah, that should be the right color. So after we finish this, we should be able to go to the junkyard and find something that we can build on our own, you know? Not some car that just needs a quick paint job or anything like that. A car that we can build from the ground up, do whatever we want to it. We should have the money to afford that, I hope. And hopefully it's a part. I think that would be awesome.
That's been primarily the goal. If and honestly, we just need a shop vehicle so we can go to the junkyard and buy, you know, cheaper parts rather than paying full price for a stock part from the catalog. Aha! Found it. There is a little bit of rust yet. Hardly any. But there is a sneaky little spot. Uh, where'd my paint can go? There it is. Thank you. Get that all painted. That's looking very nice. Price has already gone up and we're not completely painted yet. Awesome. I think we'll probably be able to make about 20 grand on this. Hopefully. That'll be my thoughts. And then 30 grand should be way more than enough money to uh, pretty much buy and build whatever we want. I mean, the parts are not that expensive. I do have to try to uh, contain myself and not go straight on performance. I do want to kind of personalize it and make it ours, but I don't want to go above and beyond because when you start to go into the power aspect of this game, trying to make a vehicle have tons of horsepower, they get very difficult to control when you're driving. Um, like, very difficult. I noticed, I know that because I built a NIV on stream and it... It was a very fun car to drive. I, I put in the Performance V8. The only issue with it was that I couldn't control it. I would step on the gas and it would literally spin out. So I had to start in a really low gear or a higher gear so that way I wouldn't spin the tires. It was nice though because it had tons of power. I pulled the trailer with the trailer brakes on all the way from the junkyard back to the house before I realized that the reason it was bogging down was because, um, it's because the trailer brakes were on. So it was pretty cool. It's actually awesome. Uh, is that all painted? Yeah, sure. Look at that. 19,000. Uh, so the front bumper was fine, right? So we can throw that back on right there. And then put the, grab the wrench. Here it is. Uh, tighten you. And tighten you. And the back bumper is the one that's all dented, isn't it? Yeah, so that was $700 that we got for that. Or $200 plus that we got for fixing the bumper. So we can grab the rear... We can get a uh, new rear bumper. Which will be... Probably somewhat expensive, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, bumper rear. $43. I think we should make that. If we get another 200 for putting out a good rear bumper, we should be okay. Uh... I bought the wrong one. Well, that's good. We have uh, spare parts for a lad, if we decide that we're ever going to build one of them. Okay, uh, all cars. We need the Chad. Here we go. $172. That makes a lot more sense now. A ton more sense. Uh, the wrench. Where, where did I leave the wrench? Here it is. Thank you. Go down and... Oh, nope, we need to do it from the trunk. It's easier from the trunk. One. And. Two. Check that out. Almost fully restored, Chad. Uh, I did miss some paint. Before we do that. So we got $135 for fixing the rear bumper, which I guess wasn't really worth it in the long run. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, is there anything that we can do on the inside here? Oh, there's a little bit of painting that we can do. Go ahead and take care of that right quick. Uh, color condition is... 5 stars. Rust condition is still wrong for some reason. And I don't know why. I'm assuming it is the... Uh, rusty parts on the engine or on the car itself like mechanical parts that are causing that but if we were to get that it'd be a five-star car and i mean i think it'd be like 25 grand but once we do that we start getting into manifolds and head gaskets and that's just a massive headache so we're gonna we're gonna pass and just uh we're gonna stop while we're ahead that way we don't run into this issue we're getting a pretty good collection of paint cans though so that's nice but alright, go ahead and 
sell this. $29,746. So, what we are going to do is we're going to run over here. If there's a BART that we can buy, we might do that. Oh, I hit the invisible wall again. Uh, Come on, please. Yeah, if there's a BART we can buy, we'll do that and build that up as our shop vehicle. Otherwise, we'll go to the junkyard, buy something that's kind of just all beat up and out there and build it to be our own. And I am excited because now we have enough money to do, like I said, whatever we want. Okay. Uh, this is a lad. This is a Chad. And this is a lad. Alright, cool. So, we don't want any of them. We'll have to pass. Although this Chad might be 16 grand. Just the color condition. Ah, uh, man. Do we go for it? I know I told you guys I don't want to just bore you with me uh, painting cars and whatnot. Call this painting simulator if I keep doing that. But it's really just this door panel. And the trunk. And we could flip that for a really quick, really quick profit. You know what? We'll do it. Uh, we'll buy it. But before we do anything with it, we're going to go to the junkyard and get a... And uh, we'll go to the junkyard, take a text to the junkyard, and pick out the vehicle we're going to build. Hopefully we can find one. Uh, we're pretty much just going to take whatever we find fancy here out of the three that spawn. Uh, so hopefully it's something better than a lad, but if it's a lad, so be it. It's a lad. Oh, okay. Come on. Here we go. Alright, all the parts are loaded in now. So, we have over here a lad that is very beat up. However, it's missing its dash. The firewall is pretty tore up. And has parts of a motor. Okay, that is for... Eight hundred dollars. That ain't terrible. This is a Niv, which is just absolutely demolished. Oh my goodness! But everything else looks generally clean. It's missing a water pump, which is is no big deal. Um, drivetrain is non-existent. Oh no. Uh, so this is two thousand. This is a lad convertible, which I honestly don't want to touch at all. So we can go ahead and buy. Ah, man. That little lad over there is not a terrible deal. It's got a motor and everything. And everything's pretty straight. Like, it wasn't involved in any accidents, it doesn't look like. Nothing looks bent or broken besides the rear view window. So, correction. The whole rear panel over here is bent, which I'm assuming makes the frame bad. Ah, yes, so the frame is slightly, slightly damaged. I think we go with the Niv. Or do we go with Lad? Niv or Lad, Niv or Lad, Niv or Lad. Let's see what we have for parts lying around, and maybe that'll help us make our decision. Front and right quarter panel. Just missing that one, right? No one has one. Okay. Do we have... One shield for a nib, which it does not have. Door panel front right for a nib. Okay. Then we have door panel rear right for a lad. Rear panel leaf spring low for Chad Bart. Alright. Windshield. Lower control arm. For Chad or Bart. I guess we're going to go with the nib for the time being. So, here we go. Let's go ahead and purchase it, and then we'll have it towed on over to the shop. And none of the parts we should need. I kind of want to build it with newer parts. Don't want to use used parts unless they're through the roof and expensive, and I can get them somewhat cheaper. But, yeah, so where are you at? Here you are. Have you towed to the garage. Then we'll have, go ahead and take a taxi back home. So there's the nib. 
And it can just stay there for the time being. We're going to turn a quick profit on this Chad that we just bought. Which is grinding that little bit of rust off the uh, the trunk cover. And then painting it. And then this tr this Chad will be 100% in a clean state. Which we could keep it. Because I'm pretty sure the motor is good too, right? Uh, no, the motor has lots and lots of issues. But wow, that's a lot of rust on the bottom of that hood. How is the... How is the rust five stars on this thing? I have no idea. But go ahead, jump in, shut the door. Ooh, we don't have to do that. Start. Oh, oh wow, okay. Parking brake is there. Uh oh, that's right. This has the Doma transmission. Uh, so there's definitely a brake pad sticking. You can hear it. Okay. Get you in. There are parts that I did not leave there. Uh, parking brake. Park and off. Open the door. Please close. Hello? There we go. Yeah, what is this from? Oh yeah, that's uh, the broken one, right? Yeah, it was broken, wasn't it? Or is it good? I don't remember. Uh, let's see how much it is if I try to trash it. Four dollars. It looks okay though. Right? I mean... Like it's not... No, that ain't broken, is it? Uh, no, that's fine. This one's broken. That one is fine. Can I put that one on here? Oh, why did I crouch? I should be able to put that one. No, no, that's not what we're doing. We're just painting this one quick and then calling her a day. So, our grinder is under here. Come on. Thank you. We have one little spot right there to grind. Okay, perfect. And there's no rust on the hood, right? No. Not that I can tell. Unless this counts as rust. Nope, there's no rust there at all. It just must have been the way the, the lighting was looking at it or shining on it. That's all I can think of. So. 16,000. Color is 0E1903. 0E1903. Uh, color. 0E1903. Bye. Thank you. Should be able to get away with just one can. It's it's literally a door and a trunk. Oh, yeah. Should be very fast and very simple. Thankfully that you can't, you can't overspray and, like, spray your windows because I would have absolutely annihilated that window there. And that's good. Sweet. Then we have just this little spot here. Get the trunk all purdied up. That is interesting, right? How that works. It's like you can have it where it gets different color schemes. That's that's actually kind of cool. It, this is like an army green kind of color. That's good to know, actually, because... Oh, I did miss a little, a little spot of rust. You know what? That's okay. We should be fine. I mean, the price should be about the same. Yeah, why is it so filmy like that? You guys see what I'm saying? You guys see what I'm saying, right? It looks like it's uh, two-toned. Maybe it's just because the color we're trying to cover up is so, uh, so bright that it takes more paint. Would I be correct in thinking that? Or do I actually have to take my time and paint? You actually have to take your time and paint, because uh, the same thing happened to the door. Interesting. Is the light on? I can't tell if the light's on. The light was definitely on. Okay. And the can of paint went back over here. So a little bit there. A little bit here. Get that all prettied up. 
You actually have to take your time with painting now. That's actually really cool. It was really cool that they added that. All right. Maybe that's why I didn't get the best price I could because it was technically still two tone. If they're gonna do this though, they should add like a paint sprayer to the game instead of just a spray paint can. One where you can like mix the paints and stuff. Um, that looks all right, right there a little bit, but then we can go ahead and finish this up. And, yeah, we're going to go through a lot more paint now with that, uh, with that knowledge that, hey, you should probably take your time painting so you can get it to be the proper color and that you don't have, like, run lines and whatnot. Okay, we are getting low on paint, so hopefully we can get this finished. Speaking of which, we're out of paint. <laughs> All right, so we spent $60 on this. And pretty much done. We'll ju we just get a uh, another paint can that we get to keep for when we never run into this color again. All right, sweet. Good to go there. Drop you back off. And then we check the price. 17000 Did we make much on this? I can't tell. I cannot tell. Because that's all good. Aha! Uh, I need you. Need to go ahead and get the rest of this door. Seeing as how I spaced it. Get you done. Ooh. Uh, crouch a little bit. I can't get it. Why can't I get that? That's going to cause my value to drop. Come on now. No, nah, I'm kidding. It's not going to cause it to drop that bad. Uh, we can get the trunk base a little bit better. Uh, right there. And cool. If I go like this, 18,500. So like, uh... 2000 dollars profit on that. Plus we uh we did spend a decent amount of money. So we spent two thousand on the car, so we really didn't lose anything. We were able to make what we spent on the car back. Now it's time to look at what we have here. I think the first big move would be to get it to where I can move it. So we're going to need a we have a shock absorber. We need a lower control arm. Uh, we can do that. What about here? This is just going to need a tire. It's This is going to take a lot of work. Let's go ahead and clear up the shop so we can get it in once we have the tire on. But I need a lower control arm, front left. For the nib. So we should go ahead and just switch to the nib right away. Throw that part over there for now. Grab the hammer. You can go here. Niv, um, body, or no, that'd be suspension, lower control arm, lower control arm, front, left, right, yes, grab you, and attach you right there, sweet, okay, uh, let's grab our wrench, we're gonna need this for a while out here, just so we- oh, saving. Alright, cool. Good to go. We survived that. Uh, every time that happens, I think my game is crashing, and I get terrified. Uh, hello? Perfect. Alright, so that's good to go. Now we're going to need a... We have one of them. Going to need a hub carrier. Too easy. Hub carrier, please. They are hub carrier front left. $54. It'll be nice that we have the nib too, because they actually have a lot more space in the back. So we won't have to put like a... We can take that back seat out, and it can be our 
storage area. It doesn't have a driver's seat, though, which is intriguing on where that would go. Somebody probably took it. Alright, so that's there. Nothing connects to the top of that, huh? So that's just completely independent suspension. There's nothing securing. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to ask any questions. So, let's go by the hub, and we'll need a... So we'll need the hub... R5. Hub F5. What is the difference? Oh, that's for the rear. Gotcha. Gotcha. That makes a whole lot of sense. Um... There are upper control arms. <laughs> I'm just kind of dumb. Okay, we'll buy that right away. We'll buy the hub. And then we'll go ahead and get... We went with a 5-bolt main. That's a 5-bolt uh, hub. So then we're going to need a... No, that should be it. That should be about all we need for that. Uh, which do you use the front left? You are. Throw you on right away. Even though we're probably going to have to take it all off. In order to um, properly repair everything, because from the looks of it, we're going to need to completely redo the entire front front end on both sides. Yeah, we have a lot of work cut out for us, but it's it's going to be worth it, right? Because it's uh, uh, what? Why is that? Oh no, 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 no. Why is that the way it is? Okay, now we're good. Yeah, we have a lot of work cut out for us because we're going to have to completely redo the whole front end and probably the rest of the car. That's probably why we got it so cheap. At this rate, I'm thinking we should have went with the lad. So it would have been just a tad bit cheaper. But who am I to complain? So, we need two tires. Uh, what size? I think they're 15s? I guess we'll find out. Uh, you can stay here. And let's head over to the tire shop. Uh, actually, we're gonna need... Yeah, we're gonna need, uh, two tires and two rims. So this is gonna be a process. Uh, when you do this, you ha typically have to, um... Take them back one at a time, because that's just kind of the way they work. So, for a 15... We have 59, 55... 49 for the white wall, huh? That's pretty cheap, actually. So why are these ones more expensive? These are only 55. These are 59. Is it because of how thin they are? They're low profile? Yep, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I think they have these on there. We need two. And then we'll need two rims. We should probably just decide the rims that we're going to go with right away here. Uh, these 5 bolt. This is a 15-inch rim. These things are pretty cool. So are these, though. Uh, you have 15? 200, 190, 250. Let's go with that rim. Um, I like that rim a lot better than the other one. So we'll get these home. This is where having a, uh, a shop truck or a shop vehicle would be splendid. Because then we could just... Throw it in the back. I dropped it. I dropped a $170 rim without a tire on the concrete from about four feet in the air. That's awesome. Uh, throw you there. We'll go get your tire. But yeah, we'd be able to just throw them in the back, drive over to the shop, put the tires on, and then we'd be good to go. But until we get that glorious beast over there, fired up, running, and drivable, we are stuck going about it in this fashion. Which is okay. I think we should probably just right, uh, right away go ahead and... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Take the motor out. It'll just make working on the front a lot, the front end a lot easier. Uh, so once we get the wheels on, we'll go ahead... Pretty much just assemble everything. We'll have to clean up the shop a bit. So that way... Uh, we'll have to clean up the shop so there's not just parts and everything lying around. And then we can start storing stuff. We can throw the motor on the engine rack. We can throw, like, the motor parts on that rack behind. That way, nothing really gets lost, and we know exactly what we have. 
We won't throw anything out until we physically replace it with a new part. That way we don't forget and get lost trying to figure out what did I need? No, what? Oh, come on. Come here. You're supposed to stay on there. Okay, if I walk slowly, the tire should stay. It's when you sprint that the tire likes to drop off. Okay, maybe we're fine. We're looking fine. All right, let's make it home. Come on. Or at least just here. I don't care if it falls off in here anymore. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop you there. And then put the tire on. Take her off. Uh, where's the tire pump? Come here, please. I'm not sure if it's, uh, if it's a thing. Oh, you can let air out, right? Check that out. <laughs> that's awesome. So you can actually uh, adjust the air pressure that's in your uh, tire. That's really cool. Yeah, come with me. So that must mean that you can overinflate them. That's the only... Oh, dear lord. Okay, we'll put you on the back then. How's that sound? That was a nightmare. Beautiful. Uh, the wrench is already out there, so we'll just wait for that. Uh, we should probably bring the bottle jack with us. I wish that the floor jack, that they had a floor jack. Do they have a floor jack now? Was it still, no, it's still just a regular bottle jack. That sucks. The floor jack is awesome. Maybe they have one over here. If they do, we're going to go ahead and buy that. Um, no. I'm not seeing a floor jack. That's kind of sad. If any of you guys know where to get a floor jack, that would be cool. Because... That is, those are just so much nicer than uh, the bottle jacks. You can get way more done, uh, less chance of it falling off, and, you know, all that. All right, cool. Although I suppose you don't really need a floor jack for in a shop, right? I mean, technically you don't. Nope, we're so close. Get on. There we go. Ha ha. Uh, what? Nope, stop it. Yeah, you're on. Why do you keep falling off? Why do you have to be like that? The other side fell off too. Oh, uh, there you are. I was looking for you, actually. Thank you. Okay, you're gonna go on. You're gonna be happy about it. One, two, I loosened something. What did I loosen? Uh, nope. Uh, I don't know what I loosened. I guess I'll figure that out whenever we... We tear this to the rear end of part two. All right, that tire's on. Beautiful. You're going to go on, and you're going to be happy about it. Nope. Stop it. Come back. Please. Nope. Please, come on. I'm trying to cheese this, and it is absolutely not working. All right, bottle jack time. Where are you? Thank you. Come here. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, put you... Right there! Perfect! That was... No, hey! Seriously? Even after I had it on the jack. Uh, do you have a parking brake? You do not. Fun. Alright, so now we gotta find a way to jack this thing up. Um. Without it. Rolling out of the way. Okay, that's looking promising. Now, why won't you go on? I'm asking you nicely. Please. Please just go on. No! There we go. Give me that. 
I didn't think it would be so hard to get a tire on. All right, here we are. Cool. That's tightened. Now I should be able to lower it, and it'll roll. Hopefully not away from us. That'll be slightly embarrassing if that happens. I think they changed the, uh... They changed the game so that the jack doesn't just absolutely fling your car wrong, because I think it happened to a lot of people, and some people got upset with that. Uh, don't quote me on it, though. Come on, you. Like this. I keep going. All right. Yeah, you can tell that there's a lot of suspension parts missing. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Nope, don't go back now. Stop. All right. Push you like this. All right. And then I can push you in a little bit. Push you like that. Come on now. This way. All right. Push you forward. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Come on, this way. Go to the driver's side, please. Thank you. And then now we just give her a little love tap forward. Uh, look, maybe, maybe a little bit more of a love tap. Uh, that'll do. That'll do very nice. And then throw you under there. And then you can go over here. Whoa, 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 sir. Sir. What was that? And why was that? Why did that happen? Uncalled for. Unnecessary. All because I moved the jack. Just a little bit. Nope. Got Come back. Ugh. Are we at least close? Not even. Alright. Cool. Then we'll go this way a little bit with ya. You're so much straight. That jack is there. This one will bring this way. Okay. And then this one will... Um, hello. Right there. Cool. We can take her up off the ground now. Awesome. And up we go. Perfect. Now it's not left to its own devices. So now we can actually get a clear look at what we truthfully need to replace. Oh, hey, the roofers must have patched our hole. Now it's only one little hole, which is like right in this area. Cool. Good to know. Good deal. All right. Um... Yeah, so we need to pull the motor. In order to do that, we need to pull the gearbox first. So we did we leave our wrench where I think we, we did? Uh, let's go ahead and throw this paint can up by his buddies. Okay. You don't want to go by your buddies? That's fine. Uh, beautiful. And then we'll get rid of these parts because they're all junk. That way we don't try and put them on a car that we have. This part's junk for sure. And we can pick up our other tools. So the hammer can go back over on this tool cart here. Can we open the drawers yet? We can't. I think that'd be awesome. I hope that they implement that. Being able to open drawers and store your tools and whatnot. That would be cool. Uh, you can go here. We don't need you. You can also go here. I don't think we're going to need you. We'll need you later, but not not till like later later. So now we need to go find our wrench, which fortunately is standing straight up in the snow. Otherwise, it'd be gone forever. Plow truck would come through, push it, and oh, saving. Here we go. So you can stay there. Yeah, we need to pull out the gearbox, which not complicated. It's just a couple of bolts, and a lot of them are hard to reach because. You have to go above the car. And this is a very tall car. Cool. Should I come up now? No, there's, uh, I think, two more that we have to grab. And uh, we'll have to get them from the top. Then let's pop it back up. Alrighty. 
Yeah, it, plus this thing needs has a lot of motor work it needs done anyway, so it's probably for the better that we're pulling the motor and everything out anyways. So back up you go. Just enough to get the gearbox out without knocking the car off the jack. Uh um Hello? There there was a gearbox there, right? Like I'm not hallucinating in the fact that, that thing is just gone. Hello? Did it fall? Did it disappear? Cause that, that looked like a brand new gearbox. It looks fine. Maybe it's in the in the uh, cab. Hello? Ah, there it is. That's actually a good spot for it, you know? For now, that'll work for me. <clears throat> so. We should start by... You come off. You come off. And now the motor can come off. So yeah, we're gonna have to just completely redo the motor. As you guys can see. Bolt you down. And then... The brake lines and fuel lines can all stay there, I guess. So, we can go ahead and start stripping down the parts, which actually I don't think we can. Well, we might be able to. We can try. I d I'm not sure if the tires are going to fall off. Well, personally, it doesn't really matter if the tires are going to fall off, because we can just put it up. So we can take the tires off, all five of them, and then start stripping it down. Thank you. You can go here. The brand new rims, these are so awesome. I love these rims so much. I'm so glad that they're in the game. I think they're my personal favorite. Uh, do they stack? Very nicely too, actually. That's very nice. Uh, two, three, and four. What, which one did I tighten? Oh, I just took the hub carrier or the hub off. That's fine. We can store the hub over there for now. That's going to have to come off anyways. You can go there. And one more tire. We'll really actually be able to see what we got going on then. Um, we probably should have washed it. I suppose we can wash it when it comes time to do the body work. Oh, uh, that's a 16. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright, so, top bolts. Take this, this guy off. This is a perfectly fine shock absorber. So you can go here. We'll do this side. Or this, uh... Actually, let's just go here. So this bottom shelf will be left-hand side parts that are good. And then the uh, right shelf will be the right hand side parts that are good to go uh, take that off and that off you can come with me you go over here actually note your junk but until i replace you you have to hang out i'm sorry did i say you could fall down there i said on the shelf please thank you uh there was a brake caliper I'm not entirely sure. There it is. Uh, yeah, that's all good. We can leave that all assembled. That actually works for me. Good job. And then we'll throw you there. You're not broken or rusted now. These are all brand new too. Perfect. You can also just chill and hang out there. Uh, so this is a... Uh, we have a wrench in our hand. I don't know why I went to look for a wrench. You, nope. Please. And the spring comes out. This is a bad control arm. We have a new part for that, though, so we can just get rid of you. This one's actually over here. Thank you. Oh. Crouch. There we are. Uh, the spring was good, right? I think I want to... I think I want to lift it, though. I think, what do you guys think we should do? Do you think we should go ahead and lift it, or do you think we should, uh, just leave it the way it is? Or should we lower it? We could lower it. 
Although a lowered vehicle really isn't much of a shop vehicle, right? That's more of like a, I'm just trying to show this thing off. This is going to be a working vehicle for us. So we can't really be going for cosmetics as much as I would like. Uh, and there should be one more bolt, right? Right there. Uh, maybe? Oh, no, there it is. Right, one, two. Uh, is there anything else? Like, in all reality. Oh, this is one whole unit. The cross member is one whole part. Gotcha. Too easy. Makes sense to me. Alright, and then this part right here. Take you off. And one, and then two. And one, and two. Uh, that part kind of flew to the ground. Then you can drop off. What? I undid you, didn't I? Yeah. What are you connected to yet? Is it the shock absorber? No, there we go. That fell off now. That can come off. That's loosened. And then these three, which are technically they're called CV axles. But hey. Uh, what does the game call them? They are a half axle. Yeah, so CV axle, half axle, that's, that, that checks out. That's essentially the same meaning. Okay. And then the cross member is now disconnected. We have two more bolts that are connected to the front, um, what is that? Differential. Which is mm, past the point of no return. And then this cross member here as well. So, we're pretty much looking to where we need to be. Uh, this is... Fine? Right? Or is that broken? I can't really tell. I think the battery tray comes with the, uh... Right quarter panel. If we go into body. Uh, front right panel. Where is that? Right front panel, right front panel. Yeah, that comes with the uh, battery box. So I think that's fine. I think that's normal. So I think that's where we're going to leave it. Everything's tore out of the front here. And we see what we have to work with. We're not working with... What we got to do isn't too bad. Uh, the steering box is here. Uh, we should probably take out the... Uh... Yeah, we should probably take this out. Just so that way, that's out of the way as well. So we know we're going to need a new steering link. But I think we should just build from the back forward. Alright. I That's going to be it for this episode, guys. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Maybe subscribe. Uh, come check out the Discord. Uh, it's growing. It's getting bigger. And I'd love to have you guys there. As always, hope you have a wonderful day. And I will talk to you all later.